The Boston Uprising just this weekend had an absolutely dominant series against the Washington Justice, but more importantly, we saw in the very first game an unbelievable overtime section on the very first map of the series. Let's break down what exactly was happening with both of those teams. As you can see heading into this game, the Boston Uprising and Washington Justice are already one to one on Ilios. Boston had a pretty successful fight, but Washington are in point control now as it begins to creep up to 100%. The Justice get an early pick following up from that pulse bomb onto Twilight. The Boston Uprising begin to contest the point now, but as they do this, the Justice invest the Primal Rage to secure the kill onto Lee Gone. That's both supports for the Boston Uprising gone. The Winston backs off to wait for the supports, whilst Decay manages to find a pick on Teru with the pulse bomb. Ben Best is now pushed up onto Smurf, meaning that Decay and Birdring are going to be able to contest that point when it gets near to 99%. Smurf manages to make it back to his supports as Decay and Birdring wait to contest this point. They wait until the last possible instance to appear and it's Birdring first, quickly translocating away but it buys a lot of the necessary time needed for Smurf and the two supports to get back to the point. Decay blinks quickly onto the point for the contest and straight back out again, not using that recall, just taking the health pack. Nano is used from Twilight onto Smurf, and just like that, it's once again an even 5v5. With Boston now having the ultimate advantage, Birdring is able to scout out Flora on the sidelines, forcing him to translocate away, and allows him to build EMP. Now it's just Ben Best and Flora near the point, but Flora does manage to find a pick onto Decay. Birdring then decides to invest EMP into this fight to try and get that point switch for Boston, and it finds two, Ben Best and FD God. However, an upset happens for the Boston Uprising when he has to reload, and Ben Best does not die to that EMP right away, and FD God's hack wears off, allowing him to get that sound barrier down. This now puts Washington heavily in favor of winning this fight, with the ult's advantage too. The Nano is used onto Ben Best, but he gets slept right away by Twilight. Alpha Yi finds Elysia gone and invests the Pulse Bomb to then find Twilight 2, finished by Birdring shortly after, and this contest is still going on. Flora forced away by the Primal from Smurf, and look at the overtime bar right now. This is all coordinated work from Smurf and Birdring, ringing around the rosy, one might even say, buying time for their three members to get back. Flora, though, builds another EMP and finds Smurf and Birdring with it. Birdring manages to translocate away and Smurf is able to back off to get replenished whilst Decay hops on his contesting shift, able to store this out by himself for it once again to be a 5v5, with Alpha Yi back in the fight for the Justice and both supports back in for the Uprising. The Uprising once again have the ultimate advantage here and go in with the sound barrier for this fight. The Justice recognize the danger of this and finally allow for that point to tick over for Boston's favor. Decay does manage to find a very nice stick onto Alpha Yi though, whilst the Justice are backing out and that one defining pick is what has that butterfly effect on this match and allows the Uprising to now dive in on these players without the movement abilities and clean them up, making this fight a 2v5, but this is not nearly over yet. It's now time for the flip situation now, the Justice to contest that 99% overtime. Ben Best starts out by using the Primal Rage to contest this point, buying that time for the rest of the Justice to regroup. The Justice do end up collapsing back into the point with four members as of right now, and Ben Best has an excellent use of Primal here, pushing back the front line, causing as much disruption as he can to stop them from collapsing onto his back line. The Nano Boost onto Ben Best comes through as Teru rejoins the fight, almost getting booped off by Kiriko of all things, but jumps back up. Birdring finds FD God, Decay finds Teru, and it's all downhill here for the Justice as Flora and Ben Best soon follow after leaving only Alpha Yi, who is not able to clutch it up. But my, oh my, Boston are looking like a very coordinated team after this play.